everyone, I hope all of you guys are having a very lovely day today. So I figure since it has been a very long time since I have filmed a haul for you guys, since I shared some new things with you guys, I would do that today. I did receive a couple things for Mother's Day, a lot of beauty related things that I think that you guys would like to see. So I'm going to do that. And I also received one package from Oxley and I want to share that with you guys. I feel like it coincides with my Mother's Day haul, uh, seeing that I think this would be perfect for mothers. So uh, this is the Super Elixir by Wellco and it is a supplement and it looks like this. This is the box that it comes in. So cute. This is like already made for a gift. Like you get the bow on top, the really nice sturdy box, and then this is the actual supplement, and it is kind of dirty because I have, I have been using this. I have been drinking this for a couple days. This is my little mixture here, in my in my little uh, milk jug that I got at Target. Super cute, All right, right. Um, but I wanted to share this with you guys because I feel like this is again really good for mothers. Really good for those who need that boost of energy, who just need to feel better. Like, I am always sick. Like, my immunity is at its worst, and it does have a lot to do with my thyroid condition. But uh, I feel like anything that will help, I am all about. And I have tried other supplements, and I just didn't get on with the other ones. Um, I have tried Shakeology, and although I liked it, I didn't love it. This one doesn't feel very forceful because I only need to take it one day. It's a daily supplement and I can mix it with juice, I can mix it with water, I can mix it with whatever I want as long as I, you know, get this get the amount in my in my system, in my body. So it says here, the Super Elixir by Wellco is a highly specialized alkalizing greens supplement with vitamins, minerals, and trace elements to assist wellness. And vitality, carefully combined in calculated ratios, this premium grade product is designed to keep your body within a desired alkaline range, uh, which is very essential for your body and for your health. Um, so only two, two teaspoons a day, so super easy. So it says two teaspoons of powder daily in water juice smoothie or sprinkled over food. I have tried this over oatmeal and it doesn't really change up the flavor too much. I will talk about the flavor in a second. Uh, so yeah, daily consumption is recommended. Drink soon after mixing. Um, it is a fiber content, so you do want to drink it rather quickly or else it will start to clump up. But um, this doesn't taste nasty at all. If you like tea, you will like this. I feel like it, this is a mixture of green tea, pineapples, and acai berry, and a little bit of something something, like a little bit of mint maybe. It has this brightness to it. Like this freshness to it. And today I mixed it with fruit punch. So it gave it even more of like a tropical vibe. I will say with water, um, it does dim down the sweetness because the powder is sweet. It's not overly sweet, but if you just taste the powder, you will taste that it is quite sweet and fruity, which is nice. But once you mix it with a liquid, uh, the tea kind of comes out and it's not as sweet. So it just depends on how you like it. You can definitely sweeten it up if you, you know, need it a little bit more sweet. But for me, I like it as is. Um, my juice, I tend to dilute my juice a little bit because I don't like stuff too sweet. So, but I do like it with juice. It's probably my favorite way to drink it. And um, yeah, I just noticed a lot of a lot of energy with this drink. And I will say that I wasn't feeling too good a couple days ago and I wanted to test this out actually when I was feeling better but I figured since this is a good thing for your body that it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt me so uh, the other day I was feeling my worst I had a really bad cold I still have a cold but I had a lot of congestion a lot of coughing uh, I had a runny nose stuffy nose and I had a fever you name it I had everything so um, I ended up taking the little supplement and the next day I felt so much better. I wouldn't say I felt 100% but I had energy to do things around the house and um, I could breathe better so uh, I don't know if it was this but I know what I was using wasn't helping me but I feel like it gave me that boost that I needed which is great. 
So Ellie McPherson is actually the founder of this. And she says this is her personal super supplement that she has been taking uh, every single day for years. So that is a pretty big statement and it's done great for her. Um, just reading the ingredients here, it has barley grass, wheat grass, pineapple, apple, alfalfa, spinach, goji berry, apple, lemon, lime, beetroot. It has shiitake mushroom, mataki mushroom. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Aloe vera. That's my daughter. It has a bunch of stuff. It has protein. It has zinc, sodium, copper, biotin, which is really good for your hair and your skin. Zinc, a bunch of stuff. So uh, I will say anything with your health that is really good that actually works. There is a price to it. Uh, this is $145 for this. But the good thing about this is that you can actually just get refillable bags. You can keep this container. This is actually ceramic, I want to say. It's really good. It's really sturdy. So you can actually keep this lovely container and just buy the refillable bags. And I believe the refillable bags are only $50 on the Wellco site. So I like that system. You don't always have to pay $145. That's just your initial price. Uh, but after that, you just pay $50 for just the powder. And the powder is very, very fine. It's a very fine green powder. And that's the cap there. It's like very suctioned in there to keep everything fresh. And that's the powder. And right off the bat, you smell the pineapple. I think that's the most profound scent in this, in my opinion. So, yeah, I definitely like this a lot. Uh, it, it actually surprised me because I'm not... I'm not someone who's into that kind of supplement type of things. Like I said, I tried the Shakeology, um, and I just wasn't in love with it. But this one I actually really like. For some reason, I just feel like the results are much faster than, than Shakeology. So, yeah, there you go. The Super Elixir. I believe that there is another one that is just like a protein sort of supplement thing. So another thing that I want to say is that it not only gave me energy, but it also kept me really regular. It has been keeping me re really regular. So that's another thing. That's due to all the fiber in this. So that is great. If, if you're someone who's a little clogged up, if your pipes are clogged up, then this is, this is a good one, definitely. First things first, Sephora. So I think I only got three things at Sephora. So I pretty much went on a little beauty shopping spree with Jose and he had me pick out a few things and I've been pretty good. I've been on a no-buy when it comes to like beauty things and things like that. So it was fun. I didn't go too crazy. So the first thing, and I really wanted to try this out. I knew that I was going to pick up at least one of these. So this is from NARS and this is the lip cover. And I got the shade Get Dirty. Now the only thing that I would say is that the packaging kind of sucks. Because you can't really see how the actual color looks like. Like the actual packaging isn't see-through. It's a opaque black. Which I don't think they've ever done that before. So you just kind of had to take their word for it with the little, uh, little swatches. And sometimes I don't like to take their word for it because usually it's either darker or lighter than what it says or what it shows. So this is Get Dirty. And I will say thank you because it actually is exactly what I wanted, even better. So that's what it looks like. It's like a light mauve. Um, I feel like on lips it has a hint of peachiness to it. Like depending on what you're wearing on your eyes or on your cheeks, this color kind of transforms and kind of changes with your whole uh, face look, which is awesome, actually. So I'm going to swatch this for you guys. So the NARS lip covers are their version of a matte lipstick. So it does dry down, and I really love the formula of this. I feel like this is one of the best formulas I have tried. I love Kat Von D, but I do find that her... Uh, liquid lipsticks are a bit drying, but I do love them. I, I don't really have too much complaints. Um, I love ColourPop, but again, they're kind of drying. And Ofra, although I like their moussey texture, they do tend to move around on my lips, so I kind of have to be careful, especially if I'm wearing a darker uh, liquid lipstick from Ofra. 
but I do, I think their formula is very comfortable. This one I feel like is a little bit more drying. It's not as, not as velvet as the Ofer ones, but it's not as dry as the Kat Von D. It's like the perfect medium in my opinion. And uh, this one doesn't dry down super, super fast either, but once it dries down, it dries down and it doesn't really transfer. So that is the color there. It is so gorgeous. Of course with all liquid lipsticks, they do dry down a little bit darker than what the initial color is. So definitely keep that in mind. But yeah, this is so pretty, guys. Uh, yeah, definitely going to be like my number one spring color. It's so pretty. There was another one that was like a really dark, I want to say like a poppy color, like a poppy red, and then like a darker mauve or darker plum shade. But I was feeling that one. I also picked up another lip product, and this is the new Bite Beauty Lipsticks. This one is the Amuse Bouche Lipstick with Res Veteratrol. I can't even say that word, but it's the ingredient that is in wine. And uh, yeah, I got the shade Persimmon, which I do believe that Persimmon was also in their original line. I would definitely describe Persimmon as a vivid orange. It's very bright and fun. So this would be great for the summer, but I'm definitely going to wear it during the springtime as well. So here you have it. That's how the bullet looks like. And this is the lipstick. It's so pretty. Let me do a swatch. Woo! These are so pigmented, guys. These are much more pigmented than their original formula. Yeah, one, one swipe and you're done. Like the NARS lipsticks. Yeah, so there you go. This is a very bright orange. It has a little bit of pink to it, like a little something else to it. But for the most part, it is an orange, and this is going to look really pretty with my skin tone. So I got that. And then I thought that this lipstick would go really well with this eyeshadow palette. And this is from Kat Von D, and it's one of her new, her new tiny little palettes. These are the Shade and Light eye palettes. The Shade and Light Eye Contour Quads. And this one is in, I believe, Rust. Yeah, Rust. I didn't know which one to choose. Jose actually chose this one for me. It was either the purple one, I don't even know the name, Plum, I think, or Sage, which was the green one. And he said that he liked this one the best, so I was like, okay, cool. And I, again, I thought it would go good with this lipstick. So this is what it looks like here. This reminds me of the packaging of the brushes. It's like in a coffin kind of packaging. It's really, really nice. Gold lettering, Kat Von D and eyes and this really nice gold lettering. And then shade and light is in black. Really nice. All of her palettes always feel very hefty, very like substantial. I will say, noticing right off the bat, one of the pans are kind of lifted, so I may have to push this down or glue it back again, but overall, uh, yeah, I did swatch this in the store, and the colors are super pigmented and super buttery, and they just feel like really good quality, and that rust color is just gorgeous. I don't have her Shade and Light uh, larger palette. I don't have that one. So, I figured I would just get this one and try it out. I do have two, no, actually I have one of her Monarch palettes, the, the purple one. I don't have the orange one, like the neutral colored one, which is, um, unfortunately, no longer exists because she doesn't sell that Monarch palette anymore. So, she's on to better things. So, I'm excited to see what else she's going to come out with because it seems like she has a lot of new launches. And yeah, I'm excited about this one. So I may I may do a tutorial with this one coming soon with this uh, lip color. Okay, so a couple things at Ulta. I got some skincare and some makeup. So a little bit of everything. So I'm just gonna pull stuff out of the bag. So I got some. They have a lot of like Korean beauty, K beauty stuff. So I got a couple of the face masks, like the sheet masks. I got two of these. These look so interesting. You can get these on the Mimi Box website for a little bit cheaper. I believe that these were $6 each. 
But this one is uh, from SNP. They're both from SNP, Shiny Nature Purity. And this one is the Animal Lion Revitalizing Mask Sheet. So you actually will have like a lion face when you apply this. And this is supposed to revitalize and you know brighten up your face. So this mask sheet recharges exhausted skin with vital energy to give it a vital glow. And this one I know is super popular, so I wanted to try this one out. And this one is the Cat Wrinkle Face Art Mask Sheet. So this is a character face. So you won't exactly look like a cat, but you will have the cat character on your face uh, once you apply it. You'll actually have it on your lips, which is kind of strange, but kind of cool at the same time. So this one is for wrinkle reduction and nourishment. So tightening and wrinkle reducing face mask provides intense supply of nutrition to reinforce skin firmness and elasticity. So these are super cool. I have a really big uh, sheet mask collection, but I always like trying out new ones, so I wanted to give that one a go. And I love Tony Moly. I think this is probably one of the cutest, cutest brands. They have like such cute packaging. But this is actually for your nose. It's like, it's kind of similar to the Biore uh, nose strips for your blackheads. So because it has three steps, it's actually more gentle on your nose. I can't really read the directions, but yes, there is directions right here. English directions, just in case you are interested in this product. So there's that. Okay, so I also got this because it smells so fantastic. This is from the brand Anatomicals, and I've actually tried their face mist, which I love. My mom actually has her, um, their face mist, and I'm always stealing it and just spraying it on my face. It's so good. Uh, but this one is the Shower to the People Grapefruit and Lemongrass Body Cleanser. There's a lot of new brands at Ulta. Definitely check out Ulta. Uh, but this one smells very bright and fresh, and I just I had to get it. I like trying out new body washes because it's something that I'm always going to use and it's always going to get its money's worth. So, got that. Then I got this. This is so neat, guys. So this is from the brand Wish, W-H-I-S-H. -H. So this is a deodorant gel and it actually has a hair inhibitor so it actually stops hair growth in your armpit situation, which I love. So the formula reduces odor and it also reduces hair growth and it also soothes the skin. And it smells really good too. You actually pop it, like you pop the top right here, and the gel comes out, and then you can just spread it on your armpits. So, yeah, I love it. It smells very fresh and floral, really nice. So, uh, I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. This is also cruelty free as well, um, and it's made in the USA, and it has a lot of good ingredients. There's a pretty good range of products from Wish um, at Ulta, but I just tried out the deodorant gel, but I may go back for like some body lotions and things like that. Okay, so another skincare product. This is the Nip and Fab Skin. This is the Dragon's Blood Fix Cleansing Pads. So this has hyaluronic acid, which hydrates for plumper looking skin, salicylic acid that deeply cleanses pores, Dragon's Blood that comforts and restores through skin hydration so uh, yeah it just has a bunch of good stuff and I actually heard of this product through one of my favorite youtubers she's actually a asthma artist and um, her name is Whisper Lily she's one of my just favorite people to watch in general and she does a lot of beauty related uh, videos on her channel even though it is like a whispering channel because it's meant for relaxation but yeah, she always recommends this and she's just beautiful. So whatever she uses, yeah, I know I'm going to love. So I'm excited to try this. You get 60 pads and I believe that this is a UK based brand, I want to say. Yes, it's manufactured in the UK. So they have a bunch of stuff that I really want to try. I want to try the serum as well, the plumping serum and give that a go. So that will probably be my next, my next purchase. Uh, but yeah, after I tried this out. Okay, so the last kind of skincare product is from Tony Moly, and this is the Moisture Mist. So this is the Intense Moisture Line that hydrates the skin, and it's their Aqua Porin line. And I love the bottle. It's so pretty. Uh, but I just, I fell in love with this because the mist of this is so fine. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, or if I'm going to be able to spray it out. 
Do you see how fine that mist is? And it dries really, really quickly, and it smells so good. It smells so fresh. It's not a very overpowering scent. It's just a very nice light scent, like a very nice clean scent. This is probably going to be my favorite face mist of life. Um, I still have to do that face mist collection that I promised you guys, uh, which I will. If you can hear my daughter coughing, she's also sick, which is a shame. We are all sick in this house, I swear. Okay. That's one of the reasons why I cannot wait till school season is done because ever since school started, my daughter has been sick, 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 sick. So, uh, yeah. So I just got two, two makeup type products. So the first thing is from Pure, and this is actually a foundation. And this is the Pure Liquid Veil. It's the 4-in-1 Spray Foundation. It has uh, an infusion of liquid crystals, which sounds kind of awesome. But yeah, I've tried this actually a couple times. I've tried this about three or four times already, and I actually really love it. Uh, I don't spray it on my face like this. Like, I don't do that because that would just be kind of crazy and kind of messy. But I spray it on directly to my brush, and I like that. I will say um, I do have to set this, though. Uh, it kind of slips around a little bit like it takes a little longer to set once it sets It's great, but you know sometimes I just don't have that extra time to wait till it sets So I just use a setting powder and it works beautifully, but it's a very nice coverage I will say it's light to medium coverage um, it, it just leaves a really nice like satin finish to the face. It's a great one It doesn't feel heavy, which I love especially during the hot weather. You don't want anything heavy on your face so I really, really am enjoying that one. The last thing that I got at Ulta is actually from Too Faced, one of my favorite brands. But this is the Sweetheart's Perfect Flush Blush. This one is in the shade Something About Berry. Is that a play on Something About Mary? I'm not sure. <laughs> but, yeah, I absolutely love this blush. It was like love at first swatch. Uh, but the packaging is so pretty. And I've wanted one of these blushes for a very long time. I was going to get the peach one. I'm not quite sure what it's called. Peach Bellini maybe? But I decided to get this one instead. So uh, yeah, this is the more more pinky, more berry shade. They do have a pink one, but it's too light for my skin tone. So this is like the perfect pink that I wanted and I've been really into pink blushes. I always get into pink everything during the spring. So, yeah, there's that. It has a really nice, like, luminosity to it. So it's kind of one of those hybrid blushes where you can use it as sort of your your blush, but also your highlight at the same time because it gives you that really nice glow. And, yeah, as you can see, there's, like, three different shades. And I just tend to mix all the colors together with these types of products. So the packaging is just epically beautiful, and the blush is just beautiful as well. So that was everything that Jose was kind enough to gift me for Mother's Day. It was really nice, you know, shopping for a couple of things. I haven't done that in a while. Uh, so the last few things, my mom actually surprised me. So I'm going to share a couple of these nail things that my mom gifted to me. So we have a store called Ocean State Job Lot, which we both love. You can always find, like, good deals, good beauty things. Uh, and sometimes even high-end beauty as well for less. So um, she got me a couple of nail things because she probably knows I am slacking on the nail department. But this is from Fingers and it's actually like a stamp art kit. So you get those like stamp art discs and you get a nail polish, like a white nail polish and then the little stamper, which I thought was neat. And this was only for $2, which I think is a pretty good deal. And some of the stamps are like a plaid stamp, like a lace stamp, a flamingo, butterflies, hearts, a key, a bunch of things. So that's neat. And then these three things. So these two are just uh, like decal sheets. No, actually these two are decal sheets. So you have this one that is called Into the Wild. And this one has like animal print and then also animals like birds and butterflies and peacock feathers and things like that. And then you have this one. This one is called Face Off. 
and this one has like mustaches and top hats and eyes and the lips which is really cute and then this one is really cool this is actually a uh, sheet of 20 sheets of tattoo paper and this is comic nation so they're all like comic book related which I thought was really fun. These were all $1.50, so she got me all these things for my nails. And then the big present was this, and I was so excited. So this is the Disney Alice Through the Looking Glass. And to be honest, I wasn't going to purchase this just because it's kind of expensive. It's $60 for this palette. But I, I really wanted this palette. I didn't even tell my mom I wanted this palette because... You know, it was too outrageously overpriced, even though it's well worth the $60 in my opinion. Um, but, you know, I didn't want my mom to dish out that money. But she got it for me anyways, and it was one of the best surprises. Uh, I missed out on the first Alice uh, Through the Looking Glass um, eyeshadow palette. So I was able to get my hands on this one due to my beautiful mom. So what the palette looks like, I think that this palette is a beautiful work of art in my opinion. So right on the front it says Disney Alice the Looking Glass. There is a quote right here that says, I know who I was when I got up this morning, but I must have changed several times since then. I love the quotes from Alice in Wonderland because I feel like they're quirky but also so relatable at the same time. So you open it up like so, and you get this mirror right here, and the mirror says, we're all mad here, and right here there is another quote, and it says, I'm not strange, weird, off, nor crazy, my reality is just different from yours. Brilliant! And then you open this up to reveal a beautiful butterfly, like a monarch butterfly. So pretty! So that is just gorgeous. And then the eyeshadows are just stunning. You actually get a brush as well. The brush is pretty nice. I haven't used it yet, but I'm very familiar with Urban Decay brushes, and um, I like them a lot. So you just slide out the eyeshadows like so. So those are all the colors. And I've been using this for a couple days, and let me tell you, these shadows are just amazing. Uh, some of these aren't as pigmented as they look. Like some of the blue shades aren't as pigmented once you blend them out, but every color here is buildable and they can definitely be the opaqueness that you want. But I feel like all these colors are so unique. I love that there is cool toned colors in here as well as warm toned. There's a good like selection. There's a good medium of both cool and warm. Uh, I of course love greens and blues, so I'm so happy that they have greens and blues in here. I love my purples. I love this color here, Dream On, which is like a taupey purple, but it has like a ton of shimmer. It's, like I said, not as pigmented, but uh, you can definitely work with these colors. This one, you definitely need to wet, though, in order to get that uh, amazingness. And for the most part, all of these are wonderful. There's some good transition colors, some good mattes, some um, good, like, metallic kind of shades like luster shades yeah so yeah this is a great 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 palette I made you a look with this so I don't want to get too much into depth but that's some of the swatches so here's the color wet just so you can see the difference so some of these shadows you definitely do need to foil them in order to get the opacity that you want but they're all just beautiful and so unique there's one shadow in this palette let me swatch it. It's actually called Duchess, and it looks like a peach, but it actually swatches more like a lilac shade. You're probably not going to be able to see that on camera, but it actually has like a light lilac duochrome to it. It's really, really pretty. So beautiful palette. It's a collector's piece so of course it's a little bit more expensive than some of their other palettes but it's well worth it. If you're a huge Alice fan it's definitely worth it. Um, a lot of the names are obviously Alice in Wonderland themed like for instance Heads Will Roll, Hatter, Gone Mad, Bandersnatch so yeah this is a beautiful palette so I'm so excited so I have actually the palette, some of the colors on my eyes today. 
Uh, so yeah, so that is my haul for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys.